Join me right now is Portfolio Wealth Advisors President and Chief Investment Officer Lee Munson. Lee, great to see you. Thanks very much for being here. Want to get your take on some sp specific names in the news this morning, like a Disney, like the retail. But first, give us your sense of year end and whether or not this rally continues going into the new year. Well, you know, I think that the general retail public is being sold this idea of seasonality, you know, the third year of a presidential cycle, and that, uh, you know, you get a few dovish, you know, Fed comments from the governors and some meetings released and that that's going to change what's going to happen in December. I do like seeing what we've seen since, you know, pretty much about the first of October, end of September. You know, markets have gone up 10, 15 percent, especially if you're on the value side. But I think we're going to get volatility. I'm personally super overweight equities right now. I've been getting overweight all year. And right now is a time that I actually want to let go and just be mostly overweight. You're going to have a lot of tax selling at the end of the year, Maria, and you don't know how that's going to affect a lot of stocks that are just down big. So I think if you're really overweight, you've been buying these dips, I think you're using this week. It's a nice week. Not a lot of people around, mostly good feelings. I think you want to reduce that to see if there's any year-end opportunities and if there's any stocks that you really wanted to have. I think that if you wait for a few more weeks after the Fed talks on December 14th, I think you're going to have a classic opportunity that's going to look a lot like December of 2018. So you're saying you're overweight stocks right now, but you want to be selling into rallies? I do, and I think I might be doing some selling this week. I don't know. But I think that every trader right now that I talk to, everybody sees 4,100 on the S&P. And when everybody sees that number, you know what everybody's going to do? Everybody's going to start front-running it. So as soon as you get above 4,000, I think you're going to see some selling pressure. And that's where you want to ease up. Again, I'm still overweight in stock. I still love U.S. large and small value. I still have no European exposure, and I'm not going to get any anytime soon. But I think you just want to have a little extra cash at the end of the year in case there's some deals that you want to pick on it. And really, has nobody been buying these dips? Has nobody been doing any buying over the past month or so? You should have, and now's your chance to recycle that a little bit. Inflation's mm -hmm. going to take a while to get down. It's, it's you know, call me when CPI is under 5%, because I think yeah. that's when you'll see more of a real pivot. All right, I'm with Catherine Rooney Vera this morning. Jump in, Catherine. So what are you looking at in 2023? Um, do you think that the recession coming and the jump in the unemployment rate will provide opportunities to go longer duration and fixed income, start to accumulate um, equities in 2023? How are you seeing things? You know, I'm, you know, right now, I, I, I see all these bond traders and these bond investors going long now. No way. I think that we're going to see, let's just say summertime, March, it's hard to predict. But I think what you see, that unemployment rate, start getting beyond the tech layoffs. We can start seeing layoffs at Target and you start seeing layoffs in retail. And, you know, I don't think we're going to get, you know, all the unemployment the Fed may want. But that's the time you want to jump into longer duration. I can't wait to buy a 10 year treasury at a higher price than now. I want to see 4.5% or higher. And I think people doing that now are premature. In the same way, I would love to buy the Qs. I'd love to buy some FANG stocks down big, but I need to wait next year because until the Fed really sees inflation come down closer to 3%, they're not going to help your growth stocks. And I'd rather come in at the second or third inning rather than try to be early. I think people are really early here. I think you've got to stick with your value play, those energy plays right now. Uh, and I think that you'll be well rewarded and set up All right, for, uh, so this, for some big bond action. This, this play does uh, reflect what we're seeing in the macro story. Because this, this, this morning we saw four double beats on retail. Best Buy, Dollar Tree, Dick's Sporting Goods, Abercrombie & Fitch. All had good quarters. They appeared to be better than expected. So what does that mean headed into Black Friday, do you think, and Cyber Monday? Are we going to see a robust retail season going into the holidays or not? Well, I would never bet against the American consumer. I think it's going to be better than people expect. But you have to remember, we have not burned off that those couple trillion bucks that the government has printed and sent to people through stimulus checks. And that money is slower to burn off. We're not seeing it go down as much. So I think you're going to probably have a relatively re reasonable Black Friday in season. But remember, once next year comes along, I think you're going to have an overhang. We, I still think we get a mild recession, but we're not there yet. And so I would hate to see people chase stocks here.
Yeah, I mean, we certainly have seen that in um, in housing. The Wall Street Journal top story this morning, investor home purchases dropped 30 percent as the market cools in the face of 7 percent mortgage rates. Lee, it's great to get your take on all of that. Thanks so much. Thank you. Lee Munson joining us this morning.